Welcome to another video in my Big Four Rolling Stock series. Today we are going to build a flatbed lumber car. To build the lumber car you will need 23 grey terracotta blocks, 4 pistons and 4 levers, 32 nether brick stairs, 16 hoppers, 8 dark oak vents, 14 dark oak slabs, and either three nether brick slabs or three grindstones. That's for the undercarriage. For the flatbed itself, you'll need either 44 spruce stairs and 51 spruce slabs if you're making an empty car, or 38 spruce stairs and 57 spruce planks if you're making a loaded car. You'll also need 20 iron bars, a handful of lanterns, and a waste block of your choice. If you're making a load, you'll need an assortment of logs and four ladders and six rails. Let's get started. I'm using standard rails for me, which is anvils with oak slabs. On one of your rails, put your waste block and on top of it, a grey terracotta block. Get rid of the waste block. This is one, two, three. Come around the back and from the middle we're going to place 17 grey terracotta blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And at the end we're going to put 1, 2 and 3. Buffers next. On either end of this bar, pistons and then two levers and flip them open for buffers. I got this from Crafty Fox. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. Come down the other end and repeat the same thing. Two pistons, two levers, two buffers. Let's get to the wheels. Come along to the inside, leave a gap of one block. On the next terracotta block, one right way up near the brick stair and under that an upside down near the brick stair. Come around to the back of those and upside down right way up. So you end up with this cross shape. It's a wheel. Pretend it's round. Leave a gap of one block and repeat the same thing. Come down to the other end and make two more wheels in the same manner. wheels. Now, on the top half of each wheel, going into these right way upstairs, we're going to put hoppers. So you want the funnels going into the stairs. Do that on all four wheels. Then at the ends, two dark oak vents. Same at the other end. In between the wheels, a dark oak slab. And in between the sets of wheels, one, two, three, four, five dark oak slabs. Repeat all this on the other side. That's the undercarriage almost done. We've just got to do the couplings. Now you've got a choice. You could use bottom half nether brick slabs or what about grindstones? I think they make a pretty good coupling mechanism. Now for the flatbed. If you are making an empty truck, I would recommend outlining the entire bed in spruce stairs right way up, facing inward, and filling the inside three rows with spruce slabs. This has two advantages. One, this is spawn proof, and two, when you come to add the iron bars that hold your load in place, they don't float. Whereas if you do that, you've got this half block gap, which is quite distracting. I'm going to make a loaded lumber car. So these middle three rows are entirely covered with spruce planks and edged with upside down spruce stairs. Just at the sides, not at the ends. There we are. Now to finish off, we come to one end and on the side we come along one and we place one, two iron bars. Leave a gap of three, 
and on the fourth two iron bars repeat that and if you've spaced it correctly when you get to the last one you'll be one block in from the end so do that on the other side now we're going to load up our car so just run logs as long as you want vary the type of log that you're loading and maybe change up their lengths and once you've got them placed to your satisfaction grab your rail and use it to tie down the logs so that they're secure and edge it off with ladders You can use rail instead, but I prefer this look to that look. Now pop down some lanterns to spawn proof it. You could place them on the iron bars. I don't know how accurate that is. But there you are, one flatbed lumber car.